Hi everyone, it's Carrie again. I'm back. I just wanted to share with you um, a photo folio I made using the Heartfelt Creations Pampered Pooch paper collection. It was quite simple to make. It didn't take me all that long. It's just taken me ages to get around to making a video. I did use some glossy accents on the front cover, though I don't know as you can really tell. Oh wait, almost. Yep, there it is. Just for some little accents. And then this closure is just elastic. And then this is, I believe, another Heartfelt Creations product. It's one of their butterfly dies and stamp sets. It's an older one. I just colored it in and then put some glossy accents on it. So let's take a look inside. I did use some gl a glitter pen from um, I think it's Crafter's Companion. It's this one here. To put some glitter on it, though, I doubt you can see the glitter. Oh wait, there we go. Here, let's turn this other light on. And if this is a I made a little cutout and stuck it on top of this. Not sure. I don't think that light is making things any better. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And I just backed them on a little bit of black cardstock and stuck them on this flip. And it flips down like this. Then you have this page here, which opens this way. You can put two photos here. And then it opens this way. And then this is a waterfall. There's places for photos. And this is a pocket. And this can, I guess you could use this as a card for someone if you wanted to. You can put more photos in it. And there are magnets in it. There's, well, there's magnets here. And a couple more magnets inside just to hold it all shut. I had to use quite a few because I'd run out, so I only had these itty bitty tiny magnets. See, it sticks. This magnetizer, so it's magnets there, magnets there. I only had one big magnet, so I had to figure out a way to make it work. And then. This is a little cut apart that says life is good, which I'm using as a swing tab. And there's another cut apart up here. And then I used, I'm not sure if it's a, oh, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called, but I used, um, I don't think it was a heartfelt creations die. I think it was a, oh, I can't remember. But I used it and then made a little pocket in this flip. And you've got this is from the collection. And there's this one I just backed it on some cardstock. Then it opens up, and on this side you have a, a little pocket or a tuck spot. And these are the cut aparts. And 
then over here, this part flips up. We've got room for photos. And then this part down here says you're my best friend. Flip that back up again. And it flips down and there's room for another photo. And then this, I can't remember which die this is either. I found it on eBay. Um, but I'll put all the information for everything I used down below. And then here's another, another tag. So there's quite a few spots for photos in here. Or if you want to write a little bit about your pet in it. And that's it. Like I said, it was really easy to make. It didn't take me all that long. And it was quite fun to make. Oop, sorry. Put those back over here. And that's it. My next video will be of a an album using the Graphic 45 Floral Shop collection. Here's a little sneak peek and this is wallpaper sample. But just to give you a little sneak peek. And I also used the Tim Holtz Wild Wallflower, Wildflower, something like that collection. I'm not sure if I'm going to put journal pages in it or just add them as part of a set. I'm not sure. I might sew them in here, I might leave it as it is, I don't know. So, it may be a case of me just doing a video for this and then later if I change my mind and add the journals to it, I'll do another video. Who can say? But that's all I have for you today. And I hope you're having a lovely weekend. All the best. Bye.